Hey everybody, this is One Peg, and uh, I got a little bit of news for you. So BSG, about uh, an hour ago at this point, as of the recording of this video, it's about, uh, I don't know, 10.30 in the morning, Eastern Standard Time, but about an hour ago, they ended up putting a post on Reddit uh, with a little bit of an update on point 12. And uh, I guess we can check that out real quick. So on here it says, "Hello, comrades. We're at the full. Sp we're at full speed ahead, and we can see the land on the horizon. Many things are done. Time for next status update." So they talk about Unity 2018 migration has been completed. Uh, they need to do some in-house testing. There's some, I guess, finishing touches to be done to the hideout. Uh, the mill base is in polishing stage. Uh, I guess that's kind of finalized. The cord is done. Uh, the AGS is almost done. Um, this is interesting right here where they say new X fills train X fill is polishing. So one of the interesting things about that, um, that I find to be a little bit odd is they have been telling us from kind of the beginning that the extractions for the mill base were going to be different. They were going to be dynamic. Um, I'm not sure exactly what this means in so far as the train exfil. That makes it sound like maybe there is a static location. Perhaps it's one of those things where you touch off a flare and then it tells you where you have to go. I'm not really sure. Next, weapon build system is done. So this is your prefabricated weapons. Uh, character clothing customization is finished. Five pairs of clothing for each PMC. Uh, new content. They decided to add more gear. Uh, again, another reiteration that point 12 is the biggest patch in terms of items already. Let's not forget that, okay? Uh, new trader and his quests. Uh, quests are getting polished. Um, there's new bosses. The woods boss is done. Mill base boss is done. Uh, they're working on the guards. Uh, third person character animations overhaul and optimization is done. Added new high-performance long-distance grass. They're adding TAA, anti-aliasing, and HBAO. So this is a little bit uh, interesting to me as well. As we all kind of know, um, Tarkov isn't exactly the game that uh, is known for its graphical optimization. Uh, TAA and HBAO are both higher-level, uh, more graphically intensive uh, levels of anti-aliasing and refinement of what it is that you see, basically forcing the GPU to render in better detail. It puts more emphasis on the GPU. This could end up being something that um, is a good thing. For other people, not so much. So it'll be interesting to see where the optimization thing is on the spectrum here once uh, once point twelve goes live, because we don't really know what this is going to look like. Everybody kind of remains hopeful. Um, and I, I hope this ends up knocking it out because uh, we really need a win here. You know, next on the list is added new explosion effects and many, many other changes and fixes. So what they say is left is feature finalizing and in-house play testing, additional performance issues being fixed, bug fixes, especially new bugs, because we know that there's going to be new bugs. Uh, initial balancing of the hideout and clothing customization. I'm not really sure what that means. Maybe they mean in the obtaining of the clothing. And then, obviously, the new anti-cheat system refinement. Now, yesterday, I reported that reshade was being blocked by BattleEye, and that is true. And I want to reiterate that when I say blocked, I mean blocked. I don't mean banned. Your account does not get banned as a result of using reshade or as a result of BattleEye catching you in using reshade. At least... Not now. The way that BattleEye ends up working is if it notices you use stuff like SweetFX or Reshade, it will kind of put a blemish on your starting of that game instance, and it will not allow you to be able to play on any multiplayer maps. That's just how it is. In the case of this, though, it looks like, at least on the surface, that it might be unintentional. Yesterday, I reached out to one of the community managers, actually the head community manager for the USA, and he told me the official statement was that more or less they're looking into this and they're working on it and they're trying to kind of dial in the anti-cheat. We don't know whether or not this is going to end up being a thing where they're going to block reshade altogether or if they're going to allow certain versions of reshade. The issue with reshade is that you can do some pretty crazy stuff with it, especially with the later versions. You have the ability to add crosshairs to your screen. You have the ability to use it uh, as an, uh, a zoom-in type of device. Uh, you have the ability to remove game geometry, like leaves on trees or bushes, so that you have better visibility. You can simplify colors 
so that instead of having like all of these dynamic textures, you can oversimplify the maps so that players stand out against it like giant glowing objects. There's an awful lot of malicious things and unfair things that you can do with reshade. That's just how it is. But for the rest of us that are just using it to try and make it look a little bit nicer than the national color palette of Mother Russia, because for whatever reason in Stalker and this game and it, like it, Chernobylite, it just seems like everything wants to be washed out. I don't understand. The trees in Russia are the same color as the trees in the United States. I mean, right? Right? I, I don't know. But the point is, is that it looks like it might be a bug because The Way, who is another community manager for BSG, ended up releasing this statement on the forums in response to someone's question regarding the block. So the user Toxic Danny 1982, fantastic name, by the way, Toxic Danny, ended up asking this question of The Way. And The Way responded by saying, Hello, sir. If you're using a reshade, then please try deleting OpenGL32.dll or installing an older version of reshade. It might be a problem with the new version of reshade. Please let us know if this helped you, sir. And it also goes on to appear that in the forum, at the very least, we're being told that if you revert your version of reshade back to 4.2.1, it should allow you to be able to play the game. So for the purpose of trying this out, I figure it's only fair that we give it a shot, right? And see if it works. So uh, I have that going right now on my desktop. So it appears that on the side of Reshade, there's a couple of things at play. One is that there are certain shader packs that are banned, completely banned. You can't use any of them. Um, there's three or four so far that I found that work, but only if you use the direct X 10 plus option, you have to use the direct 3d option. If you use the open GL option, it apparently ends up embedding some DLL files that, uh, battle. I doesn't like, and it will just kill the install completely. So, um, at least in this case, you're, uh, you're good to go, um, with using the direct 3d. I'm not really sure which shader packs yet are completely outlawed. It seems like fake, fake HDR is getting flagged, but things like tol- Colorfulness, Technicolor 2, Adaptive Sharp, and those kinds of things still work. Um, I'll try to get a definitive list for you guys at some point in the near future, and uh, we'll go from there. Uh, that's what I have for you guys. Hope this was relatively helpful, but uh, I will talk to you soon. Okay? Peace. Peace.